Moving on to the other big political story that we're tracking from Jammu and Kashmir. Two months after the election results, JNK is set for a coalition government of the People's Democratic Party and the Bharatiya Janata Party. Sources say that the two political parties have finally found consensus on the issues that have ideologically divided them and an announcement is likely to be made today evening. Sources say that the two sides will release a document called the Agenda of the Alliance and not the Common Minimum Program. Keeping in mind the ideological differences, the alliance is likely to be postured as an agenda-based development-oriented get-together rather than a political one. Importantly, there will be no change in Article 370. The BJP will remain silent on it. The presence of the army is likely to be decreased in areas where it is not required and would be replaced by paramilitary and police forces. This means that the Armed Forces Special Powers Act can be removed from certain parts of the state. Now in the first phase, six cabinet ministers from the PDP and six from the BJP will take oath. Sources say that the swearing-in ceremony will take place on March the 1st. It will be held in Jammu University Zoravar Auditorium. Omar Abdullah also took oath in the same venue in 2009. Shuja Alhak now joins us live with all the details. Shuja, it does appear that a consensus has been brokered between the BJP and the PDP. Article 370, AFSPA, dialogue with Pakistan, are all these issues uh, settled or are they completely on the back burner, Shuja? Well, Rishika, as of now, uh, what we are picking up from uh, our sources is that all the, the, you know, some sort of a consensus has been arrived at uh, when it comes to all these issues. As you were pointing out, uh, the information that we had earlier flashed, uh, the mo most important issues like Armed Forces Special Powers Act, Article 370, where uh, there was some sort of a difficulty between the two parties, they have uh, uh, you know, uh, found a common uh, ground on it. On the Article 370, while uh, there, were, there is supposed to be no change and... Uh, BJP would want to be silent on this issue. There is one very important point which is uh, which we, which can also be seen as a major development in terms of Jammu and Kashmir, and that is the status of Armed Forces Special Powers Act. What right. we are learning uh, is that uh, uh, that in certain areas there could be reduction of the army and they could be replaced by the paramilitary forces or right. police, which in turn would mean that the Armed Forces Special Powers Act will have to go in these regions. Well, the announcement is likely to happen today after uh, the uh, after the party president Mahbubah Mufti meets. Hmm. Amit Shah in Delhi and also we are learning that uh, soon after this there will be a date of uh, the meeting of uh, uh, Prime Minister with, uh, right. uh, um, um, uh, with Mufti Sayyid and that will follow with, uh, with the, with the swearing-in ceremony. And it is Shuja for the first time that the state of Jammu and Kashmir is also likely to get a Deputy Chief Minister. Uh, who are these six ministers from the BJP and the PDP likely to be? What is the cabinet going to look like? Uh, could you get us some inside information? Well, uh, so far what we, had, we have learned is that uh, 12 uh, uh, ministers uh, will be sworn in and uh, we begin to understand that uh, they would be, uh, you know, uh, they'll be equally divided between uh, the PDP as, as well as the BJP. We're right. also uh, given to understand that there could be a ministerial birth for People's Conference leader Sajad Lone who has been uh, openly supporting the BJP alliance. Uh, so, uh, so this is uh, the sketch that we are uh, getting to know from uh, the sources inside both parties. But... Uh, you know, as I was pointing out earlier as well, uh, we'll get to know the exact details as in once, as in right. when the announcement is made. And uh, from what we are picking up, uh, that is not going to be too far away. All right, that announcement likely to may be made uh, this evening is uh, what we're given to understand. Amit Shah and Mehbooba Mufti likely to be holding a joint press conference and it does appear that the BJP and the PDP have finally arrived at some sort of a consensus when it comes to government formation. Remember, it's been over two months and uh, there has been no government in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. And as Shuja has been pointing out, uh, Mufti Mohammed Saeed likely to be sworn in as uh, Chief Minister. There will also for the first time be a Deputy Chief Minister six cabinet ministers from the BJP camp, six cabinet ministers from the PDP camp also likely to be taking oath. Also, Shuja, what we're given to understand is that, that Prime Minister Narendra Modi will himself be present at the swearing-in ceremony that's likely to be taking place on the 1st of March. 
Well, that's right. Uh, there is uh, a buzz about it. In fact, uh, what we are, uh, uh, what we have been told by uh, the, the the political parties uh, is that uh, uh, the swearing-in ceremony is going to be very glitzy. Uh, we are uh, expecting that a lot of uh, union ministers would be present uh, in this swearing-in ceremony, and there is a possibility that Prime Minister Narendra Modi would be himself present at this uh, cer ceremony, which is going to be held in Jammu. Uh, we are also told by sources that uh, the venue is uh, going to be Jammu University. In fact, the university authorities have been already told to keep uh, uh, the venue ready, uh, you know, after 27th of February. So all these indications do suggest that uh, uh, the swearing-in ceremony, right. which as of now uh, we, we, we have learned is, is on 1st of March, will definitely going to be something uh, to watch out for. A spectacle is what uh, the party insiders are suggesting. All right, it's going to be a spectacle to watch out for. That's what party insiders are suggesting. We, of course, will continue to track developments on this story.